Billy, one of the food you guys here to show you the unboxing of the XE1 camera. With me, I have, of course, the two-tone silver and black edition, but you can also get the XE1 in the all black. This is a standalone body-only package, but there will be, obviously, a, a bundle package with the zoom lens, which is an 18 to 55 millimeter zoom lens, and a box will be slightly different than this. So let's just take a look at the unboxing first of the uh, body-only camera. So I'm going to open it up, and of course what you can generally get is the owner's manual, uh, a little lens guide telling you the available lenses, the software CD, uh, which also includes a PDF of uh, the owner's manual in numerous languages. So let's just a quick, take a quick look at that. As you can see, it will list the various languages available in PDF for the full owner's manual, but you do have the printed English. And again, depending on the country that you're in, uh, you will also have other languages uh, if that's appropriate. I'm going to put that aside, and of course uh, I'm going to go right to the uh, heart of this un unboxing, which is of course the XE1. It is in the seal package, as you can see. Uh, you know it's brand new when that seal is not broken and doesn't say void. So I'm going to put that aside, as you can see right here, a beautiful looking XE1 camera. Uh, as you can see in my hand, it is uh, quite a small camera, it's actually 30% smaller than the X Pro One camera, and uh, to me, I think it's a perfect fit uh, uh, for for my type of shooting. And uh, really, it, it looks really nice. It is. It feels a little lighter, and that's because you know it's taking into account that it doesn't have the lens. But once you put the lens on it, it does have a proper balance, which is great. I'm going to put that camera aside for a second and see what else you get uh, with uh, the XE One. Of course, it, it comes with the uh, battery charger. It's a BCW126 charger. And of course, you also have the cable right here, which I'm going to dig for in the box. Depending on the country that you uh, purchase the camera from, uh, it will come with the appropriate adapters. In this case, I have the North American plug, as you can see right here. And again, you can, I'm going to put that just aside. You have then the batteries. So let's take a look at the batteries. This is an MPW126, the same battery found on the X Pro One. So if you already own an X Pro One body uh, and you bought an XE1 as a backup or a companion camera, uh, you're not going to have to buy new batteries. It is the same uh, battery like the X Pro One. Again, I recommend you fully charge that. It takes about four to five hours. Uh, and again, the charge is dual voltage, so you can plug it uh, anywhere around the world as long as you have the, the right uh, prong adapters and or plug. Now, of course, you can download images via the included USB cable. Uh, it is just standard USB cable, uh, as you can see here. Um, and of course, like any cams, I always recommend that you pick up a good set, you know, maybe a, a card reader. Or if you already have a computer that has a built-in card reader, I recommend going, going that route instead. Uh, in addition to that, you also have these two accessories right here. One is the uh, strap that's included with this camera. And it, of course, uh, comes with the proper attachment tools and clips and whatnot, as you can see. Um, it says Fujifilm on one end, and on the other end, it's uh, really just blank, as you can see. Standard clip, I think, in any case. And of course, you have the uh, plastic straps and, and the protector and the triangle that, that attaches to each side of this camera so that you can properly attach that strap. I'm not going to open that up. It's just a really standard thing. There is a black piece inside here. That's a little tool that helps you uh, open up that triangle to fit the, uh, the, uh, the adapter into the uh, side parts here where the, where the uh, lens attached. So that's just a quick look at the XE1 unboxing. Uh, and this little in, let's insert the batteries into the camera right now, as you can see. Uh, you want to properly insert it. There is a little direction right there that tells you how the battery should be inserted. Uh, and it goes in, it should clip in place and it should not fall out. So I'm going to lock that in. Um, of course, there's also that's where the memory card is located as well. So that's where you can insert the memory card. Um, I do have the lens here with me. This lens is the 18 to 55 millimeter uh, f2.8 to f4 um, lens. As you can see, it comes with the hood as well. And I'm just going to open up the cap. This lens is uh, an opti opti in optically image stabilized lens. Um, goes from 18 to 55. These are 35 millimeter uh, equivalent, of course. And you do have that variable aperture control as well. It's not marked anywhere because uh, because when you zoom out, the aperture does adjust because of the uh, variable aperture. So that's why there's no marking on it. But it still works exactly the same. And you can rotate it, and the indication will show on the back of the screen. So let's see if I can go ahead and attach that to the body itself. As you can see, the red markings. I'm just going to move the box now just to the side. 
and match the orange marking with that right there and it clips in place. As you can see, that's a nice looking uh, feel to the camera. Now the camera actually has a good heft to it. That 18 to 55 mm lens, you know, we keep calling it a kit, but really if you fit, you pick it up, this is no kit lens. It is of high quality, very, very sharp. Like I said, again, it has a built-in optical image stabilization on that. I forgot to mention that low dial on the lens right there, which is A, or it looks like a, um, an aperture icon. That means it's on manual aperture and where I can adjust it. So same thing like the X-Pro1. When that's on A and this is on A, it's completely in program auto. When I put that off of A for the lens, I have aperture priority. And if I put the A off the shutter speed dial, I now have full manual control. So sim similar operations. And of course, turning on and off is just turning that dial on. If this is the very first time, you're gonna go through the menu uh, with the English option, the dates, and, uh, and uh, you know, if your camera doesn't have the latest firmware update, and it says something like, you know, update the firmware body, uh, you can always go to the Fujifilm website support page and download the latest update for either your camera body and or the lens. We continue uh, to provide improvements uh, all the time for the lifespan of this camera. So always check out for the latest updates if available and uh, you want to get the best performance by doing that. But as you can see there, uh, the zoom lens is, is actually quite nice. It's very smooth, very quiet, and it's going to be great for doing video. Um, it also has a, you know, a, um, uh, because it's very silent, um, it is a very viable option for video. And in fact, when we talk about video, there's even a microphone input option on the side here so that you don't have any noise whatsoever by using sort of an external microphone system. And it's just a standard 2.5 millimeter plug. Uh, the same type of microphone that actually I'm using to record this video, I can actually use it with this camera. Um, that's a flash right there if I want to take a picture. Uh, as you can see, it's just a shutter button like any other camera. So that's just a quick looking, quick uh, unboxing and really first quick uh, getting started look at the XE1 camera.